Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Holobot and today in this video I'm going to be looking over some of the changes that have come with patch 1.11 in code vein. Before we begin I would like to do a quick plug for my other social medias. Currently I stream three nights a week on twitch.tv slash holobot underscore. This week, that being the week beginning the 18th of November, I will be streaming Dark Souls 1 on Wednesday and Thursday from 6pm to 9pm GMT. And then on Friday, I'm going to be starting a 24 hour code vein stream starting at 9pm GMT, where we're going to be looking at cleaning up all the other achievements that I didn't manage to get on my first playthrough were going for a platinum of Code Vein. So, if that sounds like something that might interest you, it'd be really awesome to have you around. Uh, my other streams, week on week, the schedule changes slightly. So another great thing you can do is follow my Twitter, twitter.com slash holobot. And I post... Um, a sort of schedule there at the beginning of each week so you can kind of tailor your viewing time to what mine is going to be so on and so forth also you can follow my instagram for some of the funny clips that happen during the stream i try and clip everything i can up and i post it up on there on instagram so uh links to all those will be in the description down below okie dokie so what does this patch bring well unfortunately not a lot. As far as I can tell, we're just looking at bug fixes this time around. So those of you looking for some new features or extra content, generally for the character creator, that seems like the most popular part of the game right now, you are going to be sadly disappointed. Nevertheless, we are going to go over the patch notes and I'll throw them up on screen while we read through them. So this is how it reads, and sorry if my eyes avert, I am going to be reading it off their post. Don't worry, the message that's coming up on the screen, probably over there, is completely copied and pasted. Although, I will leave a link to the blog post as well in the description down below, just in case you don't believe me. But, let's go. So patch 1.11 is coming today for Code Vein. The update implements the following. Fixing a bug of which the guest gets an application error when the host changes partners at missile during multiplayer mode. Obviously, with patch 1.10, they added the ability to change your companion at the missile rather than having to go all the way back to home base to do this. Presumably, the bug didn't exist before because that wasn't possible. And now that the bug is there, they, they had, or now that the feature's there, sorry, they hadn't really anticipated this bug coming about. Fixing a bug of which certain entrances cannot be entered while activating Gift Final Journey. This is that Gift Final Journey, not one that I've managed to play around with a lot myself so far, but I do know it's quite a popular one. I do believe, and correct me in the comments down below if I'm wrong, but I do believe it's one where you increase your damage by a certain percentage, but after a period of time, your character will die. So presumably there was something that kind of locked you to the area that you were in as well, not just that. I, to be fair, it's kind of a niche one. I imagine most people were popping it for boss battles and therefore not finding out about moving areas. And realistically, I mean, if you've got the confidence to explore with three minutes, I think is the timer, on the clock, you've got some balls. Fixing a bug of which the screen is to stay blacked out after the following scenes. Blackout scene in memory echo Lewis's memory. And blackout scene in memory echo Miguel's memory. So if you've been having problems with either of those during your playthrough, not something that I've experienced myself, but just in case, it's worth going back. You can continue now. Congratulations, you can now beat the game. 
you could beat the game anyway. Why don't I say that? You just ignore those things. You can unlock more of their gifts, I guess. And finally, some minor bug fixes that they don't go into. I imagine these are extremely niche things, so... Yeah. So that's it. Uh, a little underwhelming, but clearly those fixes are needed. Those are pretty, pretty bad things to still be in the game. Thanks to all of you that got through to the end. Obviously a shorter one. We've not had masses of patch notes to look through here. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful, please remember to leave a like. It means a lot to me. It tells me I'm doing something along the right lines. If you had a problem with the video or a problem with me, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to try and fix it next time. Also, for more action RPG, Code Vein, Dark Souls kind of content, please remember to hit the subscribe button. It means it'll pop up on your homepage sometimes. I'm not quite sure how YouTube works anymore. There should be a video suggestion from me tailored to your viewing interest coming up on screen soon if it's not already. Please go and check that out. If you enjoyed my content, maybe you'll enjoy that one too. And if not, thank you for spending even a moment of your time on my videos and I'll see you in the next one, guys.